Welcome to another edition of Inside the Film Room presented by Sharp. I'm Bob Popper with Super Bowl champion Sean O'Hara. And Sean, we're going to take a look at Leonard Williams, who had himself an outstanding season for the New York Giants and 11 and a half sacks, second to only Aaron Donald in quarterback hits. And he really was a disruptive force. We're going to show him getting after the quarterback starting in week one against the Steelers. Yeah, Bob, Leonard Williams cer certainly showed that he is a, a tough guy to handle. He's got long arms. And listen, for him, you got to be happy for him. Playing on the franchise tag, he picked a great year to have a career year. As an offensive lineman, the, the long arms right here, you're going to see of Leonard Williams come into play on the very first play we're going to highlight here. This is week one. This is Monday Night Football, Pittsburgh Steelers. And what you're going to see right here is just a classic bull rush, Bob. He's just going to take left tackle Alejandro Villanueva right back into Big Ben's lap. And this is all about just getting your hands inside. Right now, all right, he's just pushing the sled right here. Look at this leg drive. I mean, that's just phenomenal power right there. And he gets a huge sack to start off the season. No doubt he's fired up about it. And when defense linemen are celebrating, it's never good for offense linemen, but it definitely gets the rest of the defense charged up. All right, so uh, from one future Hall of Fame quarterback to another, he gets a piece of Tom Brady on that Monday night football game. Yeah, Leonard Williams, he's not scared of primetime, that's for sure. He showed up, and on this Monday night football game, you know, sometimes, Bob, you know, they say the, the, the quickest path to the quarterback, right, is a straight line. And, you know, sometimes it's not available. Sometimes you're on a twist and you got to take the long way. So this is what we call a cross-country twist right here. He's going to come all the way across the football, all the way across the offensive line, and get a sack. Now, this is just great awareness right here for him because a lot of times a defensive end, when they come around and loop like this, Bob, they'll just continue to hydroplane outside and then the tackle washes him by. But he knows this tackle's got to pick him up on this twist. And he does a great job controlling the inside hand. Look at that right there. I talked about how long his arms are, how strong he is, but that's having great hands. When you control the wrist, now you can control their hands. And he never allows the left tackle, Donovan Smith, to get his hand replaced. And as you mentioned, he gets to sack the goat right there. And there's his patented stomp you out on Monday Night Football move. Now we're going to show him against the run. Yeah, every good defensive lineman will tell you they have to earn the right to rush the passer by stopping the run. And that's exactly what he does here against the Chicago Bears. Now, that's a three technique. What's a three technique? Defensive tackle lined up on the outside shoulder of the guard. Now, if you want to run the football effectively, the Bears here are trying to just run a weak side zone play. You've got to have, you got to be able to reach the three technique and get movement. Watch what Leonard Williams does to this guard right here with his hand placement and by just pressing him out. I mean, look, at you can't see his elbows. All right, that's because his hands are so tight inside. You, you don't, a lot of guys look around here, you can see elbows, you can see elbows out here, but on Leonard Williams, his hands are so tight that you can't even see his arms as he presses this guard back into the hole. And then that little extension bob right there, as you see, watch him, look at him try to get his helmet off of the block. He's trying to create separation right there. And he's also, with his eyes, now he can see, all right, the running back has declared which gap he's gonna take. And, and now he sheds the offensive line and gets the running back for a tackle for a loss right here. All right, regular season finale against the Cowboys. He had three sacks in the ball game, all critical sacks. You're going to show one right here. Yeah, Bob, he had the hat trick. What a great exclamation point for Leonard Williams on this season. Now, this one, you know, I think what's lost on Leonard Williams sometimes is the versatility. You know, I, I, we showed him at a three technique. I showed him on the right side, on the left side, looping around. Here he is on a three-man rush, Bob, on the center. And what he's going to do is, as soon as he sees the center slide to the left, he's going to attack this guard right here. And he's going to attack him with that bull rush that this guard has seen on film, which I just showed you. So he knows this is a powerful man. I've got to sit down. And then after he gives him the push, he gives him the old push-pull and the old swim move. It's the old rope-a-dope, Bob. You've seen it a thousand times. But yet, guys still fall for it. And here's Leonard Williams right there. There's the power. All right, he's pressing him. Now the guard tries to anchor in. And when he does that, now his head comes forward. And there's the big swim move right there. That's a big old arm coming in there and gets a sack on Andy Dalton. You mentioned a career day for Leonard Williams. The Giants win. And that's a great way to go off into the offseason. That's a look at Leonard Williams as we bring you Inside the Film Room, presented by Sharp.